for something over about 35 years. I've been trying to play bluegrass music and listen to it all of my life, Brownie. And uh, I grew up in Kentucky, as a lot of you know, and I've uh, heard Bill Monroe's music ever since childhood. And uh, I guess if anybody's really followed it, perhaps I may be one that have. And uh, to me, he's another person who never ceases to amaze me on what he does. The man has devoted absolutely his entire life to the uh, world of music, bluegrass. And as a lot of you know, most of you, some may not know, he is in the Hall of Bluegrass Music Fame, Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville. And uh, if there is a father of bluegrass music, ladies and gentlemen, he's got to be the one, without a doubt. He's molded and matured more bluegrass musicians into what they are today than any one artist I could probably, possibly bring to you on stage. Let's show Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys what a show's great welcome for the 10th anniversary is, will you? boys are glad to be here with you today and I do hope you'll enjoy the gospel singing that we're going to do for you. We've had requests for a good many gospel songs and one precious memory. We want to do that for the next number and we hope you'll all enjoy it. In the bluegrass groups are Wayne Lewis on the left hand side and with the bass is Randy Davis, Butch Robbins on the right hand side and Kenny Baker. And give them a hand here today please. <laughs> precious memory. How they linger 
Baker's going to play a beautiful number now on the fiddle for you that I think is one of his best. And the number's entitled Pass Me Not. right here is one of my favorites and uh, I'd like to do it for you today and it's entitled The Wayfaring Stranger.
rough and steel But golden things lie up before me Where where we has no more I'm going home to see my father Just go over to I'm just going over Saving hand, that's a so we need, need uh, another quartet number right here if you boys will do, help me do one. Can you pick? It's me again, Lord. This is a number that we recorded back when James Monroe, my son, was helping me. We'd like to do it for you.
gentlemen backstage that I would do this number here. It's entitled Beautiful Life, and we've got to do that now. So this is the wine, the Bluegrass Quartet up, and uh, but we're going to wait right here, and all the rest of them are going to come out and join in with us, and we're all going to sing here like they used to sing years and years ago back in the state of Kentucky, where everybody get together and sing. Each day I do, each day I do, I go, I go to sleep. 
Everybody will come on out on the stage and don't be afraid. Just come on out here and join in and sing with us. We won't make it too rough on you. Mr. Jones, will you can come around and sing bass if you don't mind? One of the Jones brothers here. Harley Gabbard's here. He's a good bass singer. They'll probably sing that a little later on today for you. That's a good song. Davis County Duff. All right, we need everybody that can sing now. Don't hide over there. Come over on this side. Just a little talk with Jesus is going to be the first one, and it's got some good bass leads there. Hubert Davis, get on the stage, please. Yeah, raise this microphone up there so you Let's see now, I need some baritone singers and tenor singers. Who's going to do the tenor? Little lady, can you sing tenor? Yeah. Okay. Let her have one of the microphones here, too. We'll get you lined up for you just in a minute. Just wait for her. Come on over here. Y'all find your place and cut out the talking so much. What is your name? <laughs> Bill Monroe. Mine's Davis. You're Davis? Glad to meet you, Mr. Just Davis. Sit, sit down now. <laughs> well, we've got a pretty good bunch here. We'd like to have uh, some ladies singers that could join in with uh, this little lady on this side and help with the tenor sing. Just a little talk with Jesus. So now you, you fellas find your parts and your places, the microphone and everything. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in, and the light of heaven filled my soul. Get the grace of the Lord in love, and wrote my name above, and just a little talk of Jesus made me go. 
Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He's a pale famous kind. He's a nice guy. Another good song here. Uh, have you got an idea on a good song? I saw the light. We're going to do that for the last one, the last song we're singing. I fly away. See, we'll tie that in with the last one, too. Walking in Jerusalem? Okay. That's right, that's good. Walking in Jerusalem. Hey, pretty good. Be ready, I want to be ready, I want to be ready, Lord. Walking 
Birthday, Roy Mark. Roy's a great man. He's a good man with bluegrass music. He's been a puller on bluegrass music all the way along. Done a lot of good things for music and helped a many bluegrass entertainer. All right, let's see. We need another gospel song, your boys. Fine, we're going to do that for you. About one more good number, no good. Okay, all right, one more good song. <laughs> Swing low, sweet chariot, and I'll fly away, and I saw the light. And I want you to all sing with us on this song, so we we can all get right in there and sing together, and it'll really be fine like that. We have some people backstage announcer. You're welcome to come out, you know, if you want to come out. Uh, one of the fellows back there, Jack Staff, is a wonderful bass singer, so come on out, Jack. We'd be glad to have you here. Has he left? I think him and Snuffy Jenkins are starting a group. Of... Come right on, Jack, and find you a good microphone and give Jack a hand. What about our other announcer back there? Does he sing? Get right over there. Get your microphone. Swing low, sweet chair. We start with the course, everybody sing. Swing low, sweet chair. Come and find a candy me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Come and find a candy me home. Touched over Jordan and what did I see? Come and find a candy me home, sharp and dove angel coming after me. Come and find a candy me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Yeah, 
morning when it's my feet doors So aimless, I fill with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. But Jesus came like a stranger in the night. part of bluegrass music is a great part and it's just really wonderful and it lets the people know that you do know right from wrong and it plays a great part in bluegrass music and ever since it started on the Grand Ole Opry in 1939 I've had a bluegrass quartet 
And I guess today it's about the oldest quartet in the country, the Blue Grace Quartet. But we enjoy singing the gospel. It's a way they sung it back in the state of Kentucky when I was a kid growing up, and I still love to do it. And the people throughout the South know about it, and they know how to sing it, and they, they, they like it. It touches them, and it's wonderful. And I'm really glad to do that for you folks here today. I would like to have just a few words from, from a gentleman here like Jack Stay. Thank you, Bill. And many of you know, of course, my feelings about the Sunday morning gospel services. But it's guys like this right here that really bring it home to us. Now, when he pulls all these people out here, he doesn't do it as a show. All these people that come out to join him, they mean what they're singing. And I'll guarantee you one thing, it's always a privilege for me to be able to have a part in a Sunday morning gospel service. And Bill Monroe, Jack, thank we'll, you we'll, so very much for it. Jack, we'll work together right on down through the years. We surely will. Bless your heart. I'm looking forward to we'll it. We'll keep our friendship together and do it the right way. God bless you, old thank buddy. Thank you so much. What, what is your name? Ed Hurd, yeah. Ed, would you say just a few words to the folks? What you really think about the gospel and then all about it here? Bill, it'd be a delight for me to say a few words on the behalf of bluegrass music and especially you, sir. Uh, being a native of Kentucky, I grew up right close to you, as you might well know. And I've followed your music for all of my life, even back when it was the Monroe Brothers, right on up till present. And it means a lot to me. Your inspiration in music has molded and matured more bluegrass musicians to be what they are today than any one man in the history of bluegrass. Thank you very much. Our comments to you is... Just beyond words. Our hats are off to you. You're the greatest. As far as I'm concerned, you'll thank you always so be. Thank you. Thank you. Hubert Davis, would you say just a few words, Hubert? Bill, they ain't, they ain't uh, much of it. I can say just about two words and tell you what I think about it. If it got any better, I couldn't stand it. I love it. Uh, don't you love, I love it? Dear Lord, how mercy. Now I'd like for one of the boys from the boys from Indiana to say a few words here. All right, thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure for us to be a part of the, any bluegrass festival, and especially the gospel part. We were raised that way, and it's, it's, it really touches home with us, and we're always are glad to be a part of any bluegrass festival, especially the gospel part. Thank you very much. And John Duffy, would you come around and say just a few words, please? We're really glad to be working with you again because uh, you play a man and you sing tenor and got a high voice, and it's always a pleasure to be working with you, and I pull for you 100%. Well, thank you, Bill. It's always a pleasure. You know, I have a good time with you. Thank, thank you so you much. Know. Thank you. You had to do an all gospel well, we show, and I couldn't have quite as good a time as I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get you later, but you know, it's well, always a pleasure. Well, you'll learn more gospel as you go along. You'll learn more of the songs. That's the way to do it. I know you're going to do that. Pull for him. He needs to know more gospel songs. All right. I'm going to get you. Let, I mentioned last night that we made Hustler magazine and the feature article was on him. Well, it's a shame that Dolly Parton wasn't in there with me. <laughs> Bill, I don't know if you can handle that or not. <laughs> now, now, I would like for the Jones brothers to come over and say a few words. We're glad to be working with you fellas. Thank you so much, Bill. It's always a pleasure for Lee and myself, David D., Joe Smith, and David Johnson all to be on the program of Bluegrass Festival, especially with this gentleman right here. And the hymn singing always touches my heart. Our father was an old-time Baptist minister, and we lost him eight weeks ago. And when we get on the stage, we kind of get choked up because we love the gospel and uh, we love to sing it. We can't preach, but we love to sing it. It's always a pleasure to be with Bill Monroe and all the fine bluegrass entertainers throughout the country. And thank you so much. The Bluegrass Express, are they here on the stage? Oh, they're coming on next. Yeah, okay. But uh, I want to say again that this is a wonderful part of the program, and I enjoy it, and it really does a lot for me. And uh, we enjoy singing it. It touches us just like you folks sitting out there and listening to us sing. But we're glad to be here with you, and we're looking forward to next year coming back again. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you a little bit later on today. Thank you a lot. Bill Monroe, ladies and gentlemen. John Duffy, the Jones Brothers, the boys from Indiana, the American Bluegrass Express, Hubert Davis, and the Seasoned Travelers. Thank you so very much. We surely have enjoyed it. This 
What you saw here this morning is just a sample of what takes place at these bluegrass festivals. We've talked to many people this weekend that this was the first time that they'd come to a festival. The crowd that we've had this morning for a Sunday morning gospel service has been terrific. You've been wonderful, and we appreciate you so very, very much for being in attendance and the concern that you showed for it. When old Bill gets all these musicians uh, uh, on stage together like that and gets them wound up, they really sing their hearts out. 